Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 10 of my 12 days of carry. We have some fun things planned today, so I'm getting ready right now. I'm gonna try to film throughout the day and show you what's going on. We're gonna go and ride some four-wheelers, dirt bikes, go-karts, yada yada. My sister's actually gonna join us, so she'll be showing you guys how she carries and what her favorite ways to carry are, so that'll be fun. But I'm gonna go get ready for the day because we have a lot going on, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's pretty cold out. It's 30 degrees right now, and we're gonna spend a lot of today outside. So I've got my under layers on. I have an Under Armour shirt and Under Armour leggings. So that's gonna be my base layer and some Columbia socks that my Thea Medi got me. Thank you, Thea. So this is gonna be my base layer, and if I wanna carry a gun, I wanna choose something soft that's gonna be worn on my waist, so where am I gonna go? Probably a belly band. But my sister's gonna wear something different today, so I'll show you her favorite method of carry, and you'll see that the belly band has been kind of my go-to throughout this whole 12 days. If any of you watched The Office, do you remember when Angela was saying that she has to get her clothes from the American Girl store because she's so small? that she has to get clothes made for colonial dolls. Well, every time I put on like a regular adult shirt, that's how I feel. This shirt is like a dress on me. When I was telling you that I have a short midsection, I wasn't joking. <laughs> All right, here I have my Can Can Concealment. I think this is called the Elite Hip Hugger. It has a zippered pocket here instead of another holster pocket. And this is where my gun goes. Pocket here on the side holster pocket in the back and then another pocket here with velcro and a key fob another pocket here and that's a lot of pockets why i chose this today is because i'm wearing these under layers and i can just put a sweatshirt on top of this and be good to go so that's what we're gonna do today and um i'll show you my sister's carry when she gets there gray white I'm thinking of gray. There's my concealment for today. I mean, we're not gonna be around anyone really, so I don't need to worry about my concealment as much, but I'm just showing you guys what you can do. You can see I move my gun more to the middle of my body. This is the middle of the holster, so if I move that all the way to the middle of my body, you can see that the grip sticks out a lot more. And that's usually the hardest part of a gun to conceal. So that's why I twist mine just more to the center so that I can hide that grip a little better. So now that we've practiced our draw and we know we can get to our gun, let's head out. special guest my sister I have two sisters she's the middle one so she's gonna show you guys her favorite way to carry Mare what's your favorite way to carry what's your favorite holster okay so my favorite holster is the sticky holster my sticky holster has lost a little bit of its stickiness because I've had it for so long um, but I love that I can just tuck it right into my and this is my little shield. It's she loaded. carries the same gun as me, except hers has this cool American flag wrap on it. Yeah. Um, you can so just take the whole thing. Yeah, out I'm gonna so take the whole thing out. Like. And it's a little bit worn and dusty, so it's kind of molded to my gun over the years, and it's um, it's really comfortable. You could just tuck it into whatever um, you happen to be wearing. Um, the only thing is that when you are you know, holstering and unholstering, well, holstering. You wanna, um, you know, take the whole sticky holster out of your pants or skirt or waistband, whatever, and um, put your gun in and then- Then put it in together. Put it back in together, like so. So this is another option if you don't like wearing belts, because you don't need a belt for this. Yes, And it exactly. stays in there all day long? All day long, and I don't, 
you know, I've never had an issue with it. Um, like I said, it is getting a little less sticky, but I've had it for about almost five years now. So I use it all, like six days a week. Mm -hmm. so. Um, and on this side, we've got my extra mag and my little Neo mag. I know she goes on and on about those. I love my Neo mag. And my little palm pepper spray. Palm pepper spray. Comment below to win one. Yay. <laughs> All that's right. That's it. That's my everyday favorite holster. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. We're just hanging out here. Um, the boys are riding go karts. We've yep. got a little fire going. The dogs are running around. Mila rolled in horse poop. She smells fantastic. Yeah. So we're going to hang out, and then I'll see you guys probably back at the house. Bye, YouTubers. <laughs>today i hope you guys liked seeing what my sister carries in she also has a lot of other holsters but the sticky holster is just what she has found to work best with her body and her outfits and her day-to-day -day lifestyle so you might end up with a bunch of different holsters and find that there's like one or two that you really gravitate towards day to day kind of like me with the belly band i showed you today my knife is still in there <laughs> the can can hip hugger. This is one of my go-to's. And a lot of you have asked me about trigger guards in these. And no, they don't come with one. Can Can does not sell one. It's just the tension of the elastic where your gun goes that guards the trigger. I've never found this to be an issue. And I showed you when I did my belly band comparison, um, I talked about safety with each of the four holsters. I talked about the Can Can concealment belly band. You can pull the trigger through the fabric, but you have to try really hard with both hands. If you find some sort of trigger guard you can put in here, you can do that too. I've just never found it to be a concern. I've never felt unsafe carrying in this holster, but that's a personal choice. Unlike the Dean Adams one I've showed you that has a trigger guard that you can sew in, which I guess they don't sell anymore. I thought they did. They have a different system now. I think they have like a universal trigger guard. But I've contacted Dean Adams to get a little more information on how they do their trigger guards now. Because I like this. I really like this trigger guard. I wish they still had these. Um, but when I get more information on that, I'll share that with you as well. Hi everyone. It's now the next morning. And I wanted to film an outro for this video. But I wanted to give you guys time to comment on the last video because I posted it a little late. So Mila and I are here to announce the winner of the Palm Pepper Spray from Day 9's video. And it's Jen Kolosinski Netsky. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, congratulations for everyone else. Please keep commenting on the videos for the rest of the 12 days so that you can have a chance to win a palm pepper spray. And we will see you in tomorrow's video for day 11. Say bye, Mila. Ready? You can do the slap. Watch.